I'm here at the LA Auto Show and I had a chance to see this car at CES earlier in January and now it's here again and I, I love seeing it every time. They said in January that this would begin testing on the road for Waymo later this year in 2025 and true to their word, they're testing the Ionic 5 now on the road with deployment. We'll have to get an update from them maybe at CES as far as when and what markets we can expect to see these. But overall, it is similar in size to the Jaguar I-Pace. Jaguar I-Pace is not that big a vehicle, but it's got good room and good storage in the back. This is their sixth generation driving kit. So there have been some changes, some uh, reduction in the number of sensors. And at CES, they said that what they showed may not be the final collection. But in general, you can see that these are smaller LiDAR sensors that are meant to fill in. Uh, obstacles in the front so if there's something that the top LiDAR the long-range LiDAR can't see that helps to see that as well as you can see a small small camera in there so in general anywhere you see a larger aperture lens that's a more high-definition camera anywhere you see those plastic usually that's an indicator of a radar sensor and there are some smaller cameras as well and this would be a fill camera on the side. So you can imagine when this thing pulls up to a curb to pick up a passenger between that front LiDAR sensor filling in and the side LiDAR sensor, you're gonna be able to see uh, any obstacles that might get in the way of the vehicle and cause a problem. Up top, of course, is the long range 360 degree LiDAR, as well as assortment of cameras and radar sensors. And that's gonna be used to generate that image when you're inside a Waymo, whether the front center display or for the rear passengers, you're gonna be able to see what objects there are ahead. So again, only one rear LiDAR sensor. So a little bit of a cost reduction from a system standpoint for this vehicle. You can see here also on the upper, there's a large uh, camera for facing rear, one on each side coming around the side. I actually took a Waymo here. It was the Jaguar I-Pace. And I, as I was sitting there, I'm like, hey, wait, can I use this rear storage? And yes, if you, when the vehicle unlocks, if you come around and you just open up the rear hatch, it's completely open. It's not full of electronics or anything like that. So if you have baggage, uh, groceries, whatever you might be hauling, you can just throw it in the back and then get in yourself. Last thing I wanna point out about this, I think this is an excellent uh, replacement or supplement maybe to the Jaguar I-Pace because production of those can't uh, has not continued. But you could argue that it made sense for Waymo to continue to convert production electric vehicles, traditional electric vehicles to a self-driving kit and have that steering wheel in the front as the technology develops. But I think we're at the point now where they really need to develop a platform without a steering wheel. And in particular, if you've ever been in a Waymo, the Jaguar I-Pace, the front seat, they jack it all the way forward and then they tilt it up and they don't unlock that front door. So there's really no practical way you can sit in the driver's seat and mess with the steering wheel. But given the advancement of this technology, I wonder when we're gonna see a Waymo with a true SAE level four configuration without a steering wheel and without pedals. So maybe that'll be at CES. I'll be there, so I'll let you know.